Welcome back. So just to get an overview and an understanding of creating more projects under a single solution, let me try and show you how to make a new project, a new console application under the current solution. So I'll right click the current solution and I'll go in and I'll say add and I'll say new project right here. And what will happen is this guy will pop up again and I will of course again pick the .NET Core application. But this time if you look down here, it doesn't show any solution because I'm making it under the same solution that we created. So the solution will again be the top folder and now I'll end up having two projects under that first core solution. I'll just press OK and create a second solution here just to show you guys that actually works. Give it a second. So the second solution is now available and if you look over here you'll notice that now there's actually two different uh, projects under the single solution. A console app 1 and a console app 2. Right? So Great stuff. Now let's try and talk a bit about this is what we call output and the read line that I talked about last lesson. Let's add that again and that is actually what we call input. So now we have an output of hello world in the console log and we have an input of read line uh, in the console log which means that we're going to wait for some information. So now you guys know a bit about the difference between solutions and projects over here and how to make new projects inside a single solution. That could make value if you guys want to do a layered application that we're going to do later. So right now I just want you guys to every time we make a new project created under the same solution, the first core solution here, so you'll have a list of all your projects available for this crash course under the single solution during this course. One more thing I want to tell you before we actually end this is if I want to run this now I actually have to right click the new solution and set that as the default project if I want to run that specific. So that's set as the startup project here. If I want that to run, and notice that it'll actually be bold, um, the text will be bold to show that this is the next project that you will now run. And let's just try and run this new console application right here and see that actually pop up as well, just to know that it actually worked. And there we go. And I'll press enter to shut it down again. So now you have two different projects. We're going to continue on console app two in the next lesson. See you next time.